When we work with large batches of data in Excel, and especially if we're going to print them, we have to make sure we can see the labels, headers, and so on without having to flip back and forth on dozens of pages. The Print Titles feature helps us out on this problem. We can start with a typical big chunk of spreadsheet like this one. We've got more columns than will easily fit one page from left to right, and way more than will fit top to bottom. In fact, we have over 800 rows here. So if we were to go to File and click on Print, we would see uh, we'd have to keep going back to the top page or to one of the left side pages to see the info on what each column and row was about. Going back to the regular view, though, we can get the item we want to show up in the Page Layout tab and then going to the Page Setup group over here toward the left. If we click the Print Titles button right here, bring up the dialog box we want, namely Page Setup, and within it the Sheet tab. Near the top we have our Print Title section, and there we type the things we need. For the rows to repeat at top, top of each page, we only need row 1, so we type 1 colon 1. We have to give it a starting row and an ending row. For the columns to repeat at left, same idea. We type A colon B to tell it what we need there, just the two left-hand columns, but to have them appear on every page. We've now indicated what we want to do with the relevant info at the top of the page and the left side of every piece of paper. So if we now OK out and go back to File and click on Print, we can scroll through and see that this is the case. But there is a flip side that we have to be careful of. More info per piece of paper means more pieces of paper need to be printed. We had about 50 or so before, and now we're up to 76, as we can see here. But the larger the original block of information, the smaller the additional percentage usually is. So for the convenience, it's almost always worth it. If we want to turn the feature off later on, we can simply go back to the Page Layout tab in the Page Setup group and click on Print Titles again and erase the information in the two spaces. The program puts the dollar signs in to make the references absolute. We didn't have to worry about doing that here. And then we just click OK. And we can come back out and see that we are back down in our print to about 50 odd pages. If one is printing more than 8 or 10 pages of material, this feature can come in handy. And since larger blocks of data are fairly common these days, knowing the print titles feature is there can be helpful.